Hello, 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 I'm Laura Laura and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup with a very pinky lip and a pink eye. So if you want to find out how to get this look, carry on watching. So first I'm just going to take my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in shade Vanilla, Rose Vanilla, Vanilla Rose, <laughs> I was going to see the French one there. Um, I'm just putting a pump on the back, whoa, that's getting out of those. Pump on the back of my hand. It's really liquidy. Um, yeah, it's it's super blendable, but it is basically like water. <laughs> so you just need to apply it quite. Yeah, just I you can't go straight in with a brush, I'd say, because it will ruin your brush. <laughs> buffing brush and buff it all in. <laughs> My foundation done and I just realized that I forgot to bring my mascara into here so I'll be back in two seconds. I was just looking for my eyelash colors and then I realized they were in my hand. <laughs> Great one Laura. Right so um, I'm just gonna cut my eyelashes. Uh, I'm gonna zoom you in. For the... Hey what's going on? <laughs> Just using my Maybelline Lash Sensational, I'm just gonna apply my mascara. because I don't want this to be really heavy so it's not like evening wear. Now I'm just I'm just gonna sort out my eyebrows and I'm using the new the new Sid new kid. Um, it's just well this is a um it's a brow product but the spoolie on this is amazing. <laughs> um that's I don't I don't use a product I just use the spoolie to comb my eyebrows. my Soap and Glory Brow Archery um, pencil first, just to fill in my brows. ginger and dark on camera but I promise they're not in person. Um, I'm just going to go and outline them with the other end which is the pen. Now to set them I'm going to take my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper Brow Setting Gel in medium dark and this is just such amazing stuff. Um, brush is really small so it's really good for getting all the little hairs but also not like getting it everywhere and it just keeps my brows, sorry, itchy nose, it just keeps my brows in place like all day. <laughs> to finish off my eyes I'm going to take my L'Oreal um, colour tattoo in pink gold which is just a gorgeous like pink gold, <laughs> um, sparkly pink really. And I'm going to t first of all take the Real Techniques base shadow brush, which comes in the expert. It's, it's in the eye brush set. I'm just stroking the brush in there to get some product on it, not too much. And then I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. So 
just applied that and um, to stop my eyes looking like I've got an eye infection or something, I'm just going to take my collection nude palette, eyes uncovered nude palette and use the lightest shade which is white chocolate. I'm going to dab my Real Techniques Del Deluxe Crease Brush, I'm just going to pat it in there and then just get, pick up a little bit of product and then pat it over the pink. It just makes it look less heavy and less pink. <laughs> Obviously you can build up the pink if you want to, but personally I'm just gonna keep it a bit neutral. Now I'm not applying any concealer because I don't really want to. My skin's not great at the moment anyway and I don't wanna aggravate that with more makeup. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. But of course, I've got to finish it with some lipstick. The um, K Moss for Rimmel in shade 30 number 30 which is just a really deep pinky berry tone um it's not matte but then that this is a great dupe it's almost identical to max rebel which is my first mac lipstick and also there's a revlon one which is a little bit darker and i'll leave the it's on the screen now um, because last year I was looking everywhere for loads of berry colours for my lips because I love them. A really, really matte version of this is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in, can't remember the name, it's on the screen now again. I'll stop talking about alternatives to this lips, I can't just put it on my lips. <laughs> so this ties in really nicely with the pink on my eye because it's pink undertones. orange compared to my neck. I'm not, I promise it's just a lighting. So this is the finished makeup look and it's kind of autumnal kind of transition from the summer. Um, you can always switch up with a red lip um, but I would recommend using a different colour rather than the pink on your eyelids because pink and red. Um, thank you so much for watching. Remember if you recreated it, remember to tag me in it. Thank you so much for watching. I think I've just said that. Um, like I say, use your own products for this, this is open to interpretation. I would recommend the products that I used. Um, like I said about the dupes, this is a great dupe for Max Rebel. This lipstick is, I think it's something like four pounds, maybe, maybe five. Um, I think it's really great for autumn winter because it's a bit different to your traditional purple toned berry, it's pink toned. Um, I'm going to stop talking now, I'm going to let you go. I hope you've had an amazing week and comment down below something nice that you've done this week. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you always do. I will see you next Tuesday at 6pm. Thanks for watching. Bye.